All right. Oh, shoot. My uh, my shields are messed up. I should probably recharge this. All right. There we go. Hi. Wow. Surprise. Have I been to this Atlas interface? I actually don't remember if I've been here yet. I'm going to operate under the assumption I've already been there. We've got a planet base somewhere around, but if it's a planet base, that's probably a planet base. It's a habitable base, right? Yeah, habitable base. We don't really care about habitable bases. Abandoned buildings, on the other hand, we do care about. Uh, where is? It's somewhere around here. Nope. It's somewhere maybe around here? Are they? Oh, they're both on that planet. All right, guess I'm going this this way for the time being. Yeah, for a second I thought that planet was stuck in another planet. It was going to be really confusing. But looks like not the case. All right, let's go here. Yeah, so we'll grab some more. Uh, whoa, what was that? I have no idea what that was. Uh, we're probably going to grab some more iron while we're on the surface, just because I'm going to need uh, a lot more more of it. Oh, this is actually really convenient light in. Okay. Where is it? It's like somewhere around here, but I'm missing it, kind of. There it is. No. Hi. That's a tree. Maybe I should just land here and walk the rest of the way. Maybe it is actually right here and directly underneath me. Underneath me. Underneath me. This is a pretty looking planet. Oh. Moon. My bad. Whoa. This is a nice view, too. Yeah, there it was. It's cold. Could toss down like a beacon and some other things. You know, you know what I really wish you could do in this game? Uh, I've kind of complained about this at least a little bit, but um, I'd really dig it if I could actually uh, sit down and um, make like a radar dish that would um, that would scan the like surrounding area. That'd be a really nice way of, like, revealing a bunch of rooms without, like, kind of breaking the game too much. Like, make it expensive, make it hard to make, and then let me use it to explore the exp explore the planet and actually get good things out of it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I've stopped reading, reading these at this point. The problem is it's starting to loop, and I don't know which ones, and it's kind of one of those where it's just like, yeah. Ooh, shield boost theta. All right. I think I might even be able to make that immediately. I'll take a, uh, take a look at it in a second. I guess we might as well take a look at, look at it now. All right. So if I want to make uh, Microdensity fabric. The other one requires gold. Okay, well, microdensity fabric is really easy to make, if I recall. There we go. Okay, so we've got plenty of life support modules. Not going to be doing anything with hazard protection, though. I might just move the stamina one around. I don't know. We still don't have a jetpack in increase either. Okay, so I got more plutonium. Right, I was gonna go for iron. Ooh, that's a big, big thing of iron. Okay. Let's see, so I'm being bombarded with questions about when am I going to play games. I mean, the biggest problem with me playing games, period, is always just, I, I am already putting out like nine, ten episodes a day, and it's always kind of a, a nightmare uh, trying to fit more in. That's always one of those where, like, I, I'm a huge game addict. I'm, I'm gonna be straight up and honest about that. Like, I, I pretty much live and breathe video games, which at this point should probably, I should probably, like, taper it off a little bit or any number. I don't know. Um, okay, so what do we got over here? But, uh, it's one of those where it's, like, every game in my Steam library, pretty much I want to play at some point. The problem is just getting to the point where I can. Sometimes harder than you think. Okay. Uh, oh. So it's Korzagen. We don't care too much about that. It's actually a really nice planet. I'm not a big fan of the trees, but it looks nice. I don't think I'm going to build a base or a beacon on it. I don't think I'm going to mess around. Okay. So we got some, like, rubium or something else around there. Well, 
We didn't run into anything particularly interesting here. Let's go back. I've probably got a lot of iron. A ton of shielding shards. Eh, let's scrap them. They're not worth it. I can remake them and I haven't seen much of a reason t to do so. One heridium, a little bit of copper. I should maybe consider just tossing some of this stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna have any use for that. The heridium worked, and looked like we had a looks like we have had a little bit of that zinc. Okay, so let's let's go back out and go along the way here. But yeah, so it's one of those where it's like I really would like to play every game in my library and every game that people want me to play. It's just also one of those where I have to I really have to finish series first, otherwise like. I just end up with like a billion unfinished games in my library, which is completely completely awful. Like, how many of you guys would like to follow a channel that only ever finishes like half the games they put up? I guess it's not so bad. Uh, that's technically like what the Game Grumps and stuff do. They do a lot of a lot of games, and they only finish a very small number of them. Not to d besmirch, it's just that doesn't work so well when you're small. And your force of personality only goes so far. Also, solo stuff. Solo stuff tends to make it a little bit harder, too. Okay. Wander, why do you need iron? Uh, I use it for my, my planetary thrusters or my warp... Not my warp drive. It's um, it's what I use to get between planets now, because they, they switched it. Ooh, this is pretty. Um, I also use it for my shields and a lot of crafting. So it's kind of super useful across the board. I'm just going to summon him in right off the bat. Okay, so I got a trading post. Okay, a transmission tower. That's a little bit more attractive here. Looks like it's on the same planet, though. Which is interesting. Do we get anything else here? The answer is no. Alright. Yeah, I like transmission towers. Uh, for a couple of reasons. You know, we'll stop by the, uh, trading post and the transmission tower. Um, oh. You know what? Let's, let's stop for a second. Let's see if any of these have, uh, rare resources hanging out on them. Tamarium, Rubium. I mean, at this point, kind of don't need a lot of them. Vortex cube. Huh. Didn't know I could scan for those. For vidium. Did I already scan this one? Rubium. Okay, well, I'm just gonna head for these. And we'll figure it out past this point. Yeah, this is what I use the iron for. My pulse engine requires it. So, makes it easier if I just... Uh, have a huge stock as I go along. Oh, and looks like we might have some friends very shortly here. Oh, let's see. Oh, transmission tower is right here, except for we're going to have some friends shortly. Let's see if I can hit him right off the bat. And... Yep. This is why I pick up the iron. Okay. I'm not going very fast, and I think it's screwing me. They get him? Got him. Alright. There we go. Luckily, I built this thing kind of like a tank, which is very much appreciated. Okay. There's one, two. Yeah, sadly, we still don't get the loot from these guys. Did you get him? I think I got him. Not seeing any, not seeing any more anything's. Cool. Yeah, that's why we got iron. Because I can refill my, uh, I can refill my ship as I go along the way. Okay. Let's see, do I still play Fallout? Yep. Yeah, if you're ever wondering, do I still play a game? The answer is check the YouTube channel. You're almost always going to get a really good answer as far as that one. We are... 
having trouble landing here. Ooh, land of the giant mushrooms. Still just about as ugly as a lot of the other planets we've been on, but it is a nice, it, it like it's a nice silhouette. I think that's the thing. I, I really still need more than this, but this helps a ton. Like, look at this, this is awesome. Um, just across the board, these planets are way more interesting, but ultimately, like, it still bothers me that they're, they're the exact same. <laughs> oh well, not the end of the world. Alright, so inventory is pretty full. Not getting a whole lot of goodies. Okay, so this is, right, this is a transmission tower. Hopefully there's a dude in here that I can uh, trade my gun. Or something. See, do the ships take gas? Nope. They take iron. They used to take tamarium, uh, tamarium, but no dice. Okay. Interloper, suit mail functions. Okay. Let's try recharging the warrior suit. Okay, there we go. And it's gifting me its multi-tool. Good luck. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's worse than what I've got. And also, for whatever reason, they're completely front on, which I don't understand. Anyway, it's it's no good. The one other option is we could actually scum it over and over and over again. Do we scum it? Yeah, let's try scumming it. I think this works. Um... I think what I can do is uh, try it again. I think the puzzle's the exact same, but the multi-tool is different. At least in my experience, it's been that way. If it's not, it's not. I'm just, I wanna try it. I, I wanna, I wanna try and see. Cause it would be kind of fun if I could actually use this to consistently, oh. Oh, he's just not here. So it's extra random. What's inside? Okay. Well, time to ban a dude. Never mind. Guess I don't need to. Man, I do not understand why people try and advertise their shit on my channel. That is like the number one way to get banned on anybody's channel. And is incredibly rude across the board. Okay. Like, most things I can kind of understand. Yeah, he's just done. Done's like, he's gone. Well, it's okay. This is what I get for cheesing. Okay, so it's... Minus seven, minus six, minus five, minus four. It never works adver trying to advertise your, your channel to somebody else's uh, audience anyway. Like, you might get a couple of subscribers, maybe, but... 90% of the time, what happens instead is, uh, you just, you, you just get dead subscribers. People will, like, say, like, sure, I'll sub to you, but unless you actually prov provide content that somebody wants to watch, there's no point in subbing to anybody's, uh, channel. Like, how'd you guys find me? I assume it's because I played a game. And you guys liked my personality and my commentary and stuff like that. That's at least the most likely situation, considering what, I mean, what else would there be? But, um... But, like, a lot of people don't realize this. They're, they just see other people as a number, and it's kind of, like, weirdly dehumanizing. And it happens, like, I mean, honestly, like, technically you could say a lot of YouTubers think the same way, but it's, like, there's still kind of the underlying, like, there's still the underlying, like, these these are people, and you kind of have to appeal to them. But I find a lot of the people that go for the, like, sub for sub, or, you know, just spam, spam advertising. I am stuck in a mushroom. Uh, the spam a advertising si uh, system of, like, advertising their stuff. 90% of the time, they just see, you know, the subscriber number is the end-all, be-all number that, you know, means success uh, with YouTube. I, God, I've had straight up arguments with a lot of people over like whether or not subscriber numbers even matter and pro tip they don't I know a lot of people that uh, are huger than me I was looking at some channels that I used to that I, I used to be a big fan of 
uh, back in the day, back when I started YouTube. Um, you know, people that I used to watch for fun, and I, I looked up their channels today and I realized I get ten times the number of views they do. Not on a per video basis, but definitely on a, uh, on a daily basis. And it's really bizarre. And everybody's just like, sub numbers is the most important. It's like, no, no, you fools, you don't know. You don't know what you wrought. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. YouTube is weird and hard and people don't know and whatever. Okay, selling more dice, selling Pugnium. Gonna save Tamarium for Vidium and stuff like that. We need that. Any of the other stuff here? Nope. Alright, keeping the Rygogen. Oh, uh, I'll keep that. I have a dynamic resonator. Huh. News to me. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna keep selling the Electron Vapor. Oh, you know what? I got the dynamic resonator from looting that one ship. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm here in the begin uh to begin with. I wanna make sure I have enough That's not even worth selling. Uh I wanna make sure I have enough inventory space that I can um that I can loot this next ship no problem. Okay. Let's see. But uh ten videos a day, most YouTube YouTubers only do one or two. Uh I mean, technically, okay, so this is an interesting thing about the 10 videos a day versus 1 or 2. Uh, technically, you could actually say I'm shooting myself in the foot here um, by putting out the sheer number of videos that I do, and it's technically true. Oh, interesting. I, he's an armorer. What about this guy? Won't even talk to me. That's unfortunate. What about what, these guys? They, they have no interest in talking to me. I was hoping one of them would be a special interest NPC that I could get. A multi-tool from it. It looks like I'm out of luck on that one. Um, but so I'm technically shooting myself in the foot uh, by putting out 10 videos a day because um, if I if I really wanted to like do really well on YouTube, I'd probably only do like um, three a day tops because that's kind of the maximum number of somebody is willing to watch. Um, I put out that much specifically because I like playing games. And also, technically, I do get more views this way, but I get less on a pure video basis, so it makes my views less findable. It's a pain in the butt. But honestly, this is just more fun for me. And it's worked for me, and... I don't know, I, when I was starting YouTube, I got a kind of pseudo-sage, pseudo, like... Uh... Somewhat sage, somewhat wildly misinformed piece of advice from my friend, uh, Sebastian SB. Uh, or Keith. He's in a lot of my videos, and we do the podcast together and stuff like that. But, um... But, uh, he told me that the more videos you had, uh, the more likely somebody's gonna be able to find your channel. And so, by playing a shit ton of games, you know, it increases, uh, the chances somebody's gonna find you. Which is technically true, I'm just never going to be specifically known for a game. Which is actually perfect for me, because I never want to be... Ooh, hi. This actually might be a ship worth shipping. Holy crap, look at this thing. Please have max slots, please have max slots, please have... Alright, so it's got... It's got both. Um, it's got a busted warp reactor Sigma. And hyperdrive. This is going to be a bit of a pain to, to fix. But actually, doesn't look like um, it's nearly as busted as I thought it was going to be. Some of these things we'll probably have to get rid of, though. But yeah, this is actually a nice-looking ship. Uh, nice-looking fighter. Uh, it's got kind of weird wing wings and stuff like that. But as much as I like this um, this big blue ship that I've been flying around in, oh, this is going to waste all that hyperdrive fuel. Whatever, I've got like a billion of it now. So it's not a big deal. Yeah, because if you notice, this only has a warp reactor Sigma. This has Sigma and Tau. Um, and it's like a really nice looking red ship. For whatever reason, it's rotated weird. Yeah, there's there's no reason why not to switch, right? Yeah, I think so.
Okay, let's send over all this stuff. I really wish you could actually remove the fuel from a warp reactor and uh, port it over. It'd be nice. All right, accept. Okay, so now we've got a really cool looking but extremely broken ship. I'm gonna hop inside of it and we are going to start fixing things. Whatever we can, really. All right, so I need more chrysonite. Uh, I should probably work on the pulse engine first. And I need some karaite sheets. Nope. Oh. All right, so we fix that, fix that. We need a dimensional matrix for this. This is going to be the problem. Luckily, I think I got a fair amount of nickel sitting around. Um, so that'll be helpful. Okay, so we need a little bit more chrysonite, nickel, and like two dynamic resonators. Yeah. Well, can I make? I think I can make dynamic resonators. I don't know if I've got the resources, though. We need more chrysonite and microdensity fiber. Okay. Uh, it's pretty doable. Wait. My phase beam is busted. Hold on. Okay, that's easily fixed. Okay, so now we can defend ourselves. We're not in a bad way either. Um. Hmm. Actually, I have half a temptation to um, tear up like the accelerated fire sigma and put on a better shield. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to get rid of that. We want to have shield enhancement here. It's a little bit expensive, but uh, considering I'm planning on using the ship for a while, it seems like a good idea. Okay, what does Wander enjoy most about being a YouTuber? Uh, okay, so this is going to sound weird, maybe? I don't know. Um, wow, this thing pilots like a... This thing is absurdly fast. Dismantle the parts from the other ship. Already did! Wow, and it controls really slick, too. All right, I'm going to head for that space station. We're going to need parts from people, and I should be able to buy the remaining things there. Oh. Got to get out of here. Um, okay, so this is going to sound really stupid, but my parents were particularly... Um, my parents were particularly prohibitive as far as, um, you know, what games I played and stuff like that. They They were not particularly interested in... Video games as a whole, not because they hated them, but they're just like, you already have enough video games, you don't need more. And that was always, oh, sweet, we actually have a dimensional matrix sitting around. We're still going to need the dynamic resonators, but I'm actually going to be able to get this sucker up and running almost instantly. Yeah, we might as well do it. We're going to need uh, neutrino modules. I don't think I can make those. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Oh, that's that's what we're up up to. Maybe not as much kick as the other ship ever had. It's got way better maneuverability. Did I already kill the other one? Nope, it didn't. And again, I am working on this. I'm glad I picked up the extra shields. There we are. That's good. Okay, but yeah, my parents were particularly uninterested in uh, letting me and my brother buy, like, numerous games. And for the most part, that wasn't really a big problem for my brother. He was always, like, only tangentially a gamer. But I've always been a massive gamer to the point where, you know, obviously it interfered with schoolwork and stuff like that. Um, but whatever. Uh, so my parents were always like, no, you can't buy that. And I'm like, oh, come on, please. And it was... You know, for a while, it was just kind of a constant battle of, like, when and where I get to play video games and stuff like that. Um, and so it's it's one of those where I actually really enjoy being able to play the sheer depth and breadth of video games that I currently do. It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see, what made me start YouTube? I was really bored and I was really lonely. Uh... 
I, uh, so I, I used to work for like a, a branch. I've told this story, I think, during this series in the past. That's eh, okay. I'll say it again. Um, but uh, I, I started I started a YouTube channel because I was watching people like uh, the Game Grumps and Sea Nanners and whatever, and they always looked like they were having a lot of fun. And I kind of wanted to do that myself. You know, it looked like something that would be really fun to do with friends. And I didn't have any because I just graduated from college and stuff, you know, it gets lonely being, I guess. Uh, it, it, gets, it gets lonely just kind of working on your own because, yeah, I had, I had like coworkers and stuff. But they weren't particularly friendly, and all my friends had either graduated or, you know, we just kind of grown apart. Whoa, that's kind of a cool-looking ship. It's a weird shuttle and stuff like that. I'm not going to go for it, but it is neat-looking. I, I honestly really like like my current one. But this is actually a really nice ship design. Um, But yeah, so I, I, really, I really just needed friends, as silly as that was. Because I had Shell. And I love Shell, and she's a wonderful person, but, you know, it's nice to socialize, and it was nice to actually socialize in a way that eventually led to actually being my full-time job, which is weird. How did I find out about YouTube? How does anybody find out about YouTube? I didn't know it was a career until I realized that people like, uh, I think actually it was a conversation from Aaron and John from Game Grumps, obviously. Um, I think they were actually discussing the, uh, the logistics of both of them going full-time with, uh, Let's Playing and whatnot. Even though they were very, very vehement about, um, not being Let's Players at the time. Um, but it, it was one of those where they were talking about it being their full-time job, and it was just like, Huh, never thought of it that way. Sure, I'll start, I'll, I'll give this a go. And then it took, like, three years for that to even be viable, but still. Okay, so I still need my nickel and aluminum. Dimensional matrix. And a neutrino module. You don't have a neutrino module, do you? We might have to go elsewhere. I mean, luckily neutrino modules are... Not impossible to get my hands on to. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to run around grabbing chrysonite for a bit. I know I can technically find places that I can mine chrysonite, but... Stuff's rare. Plus, these ships tend to have a variety of interesting little things. Some of them useful, most of them not. Okay. This is a doofy looking ship. These ships look awful. They're fun, but I would never ever want to fly them. Yeah, if we're lucky, one of these guys is just gonna straight up have a neutrino module, but it looks like we're out of the we're out of luck there. Alright, so what do we have left? So again, dynamic resonator, all we need is nickel and aluminum. Okay. And also, I'm going to have to refuel my warp, warp drive. I guess we'll go back to the usual of filling it up only one at a time. Alright. I'm betting I'm not going to get a whole lot of luck here. So let's get out of here. Uh, huh. How is that ship tar targetable? I have no idea. Oh, we got a manufacturing facility. Then the other... Nope, it's over here somewhere. Have I been on this planet yet? Yeah. Why is it all on that this planet? I have no idea. Anything else? Alright, yeah, so we're just going to go back to this one. Um, we have a very high possibility of getting neutrino modules from, uh, certain places, and we might as well 
Uh, just keep looking. I think I'm also going to resummon the... Let's see, Chris Knight, Iron, and Zinc. I also kind of want to move the um, Photonics Core over and, and get it next to the, the other things. Yeah, put it right here instead of the Cannon Damage Tau. Are we? Yep, we are actually going to the right spot. Perfect. This ship is so much faster. Let's see, what do I recommend for starting a channel? Start. Now. Uh, <laughs> that's it. No, I mean, honestly, you're going to want to uh, make sure you have OBS, a computer that, that can run game, run and record games. And you're also going to wa want to have a microphone that... This is dumb. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to have a microphone that makes you not sound like butts. Uh, personally, I recommend either the Audio-Technica line of microphones or uh, the Blue Yeti. You could go lower with stuff like the uh, the Blue Snowball, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you're if you're serious about starting a YouTube channel, um, you're generally gonna wanna not half-ass it. I guess is one of the easy things to say. Like, okay, so YouTube is like stupid merciless. A lot of people think they can just get into it because it's playing video games and it's fun and whatnot. But in reality, like YouTube is uh, a lot of work. It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to to get into and. It can be really frustrating at times, um, and it's one of those where you have to make sure that, you know, it's something that either you're doing purely for fun, or if you are going to try and pursue a career with it, uh, you have a very distinct plan, and, um, you know, you can commit the time and effort to it. Because uh, the, the issue is, um, uh, let's see, oh, hi. Okay. Decrease gas concentration. Okay, that didn't work. All right, let's try again. I don't feel like I, I feel like I'd rather just save scum these than just find a new one, especially when they're useful. Okay, how far in advance can someone set a video to release? Um, months, I think. You might, you might even be able to uh, set it like a year in advance. I can check it. It's not recommended though. Yeah, I'm gonna fire that over there, and we're gonna restart. Okay. Huh. Shooting is actually surprisingly effective. All right. Let's see if it's the same issue this time around. Okay. So increase gas concentration. System is online, and we learned how to make Lemium. Nice. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, eventually we're going to actually learn how to make the uh, the better recipes here. Which is really what I'm looking for. Anyway, uh, we've got some loot over here. Okay. Um, When did I start YouTube? I started YouTube fall of 2013, so I've been doing it a little over three years now. Um... I don't know. It was a good time for it. Sometimes I wish I had started uh, YouTube back in um, 2009 when I first heard about Let's Playing. The first Let's Play I ever watched was uh, Chip Cheatism and General Ironicus. Oh my god, these things look ridiculously stupid. Holy crap, I don't think I've ever actually seen a bi bipeds like these. This planet is dumb. <laughs> 